Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another exciting day in mathematics. Whoop, whoop. Form of 56 is on the screen. Let's get started, please. That shouldn't take you long. Uh, I would say, uh, let's see, four problems, one and a half minutes, six minutes, five minutes. How about five minutes? Yeah. What do you think, Jesus? Five minutes? Good. Let's go. All right. So, share what neighbor you got for all four of them. You should be done by now. Good communication. All right. Is this Sean the road? Mario, number one. Compound inequality. Go. Negative five. Hands if you got that. That is about right. X equal and X equal for number two. What'd you get for number two? Pass someone. Enrique. Seven. Negative two. Hands if you got that. That is correct. Number three. I need an equation for number three. Pass someone. Joseph? Okay. When he comes back in December, we'll ask him. Oh, oh Lisa. My bad. F of X equals. That is correct. Hands if you got that. All right. And number four, we need an inverse function for number four. Pass on one, you, Lisa. Mario. X minus six over five equals with a negative one. Hands, if you got that, looks about right. Make sure you turn that in, please. Copy the agenda. Warm up number 55, transformation of functions. Pop, oh no, this is the wrong slide, sorry. There it is, I forgot to take it off. There you go. Transformation of functions, have an excellent Thanksgiving. How about them apples? Pretty good, yeah? All right. However, however, here goes the uh, some instructions. When we come back from break, all that week is going to be review. We're going to be reviewing this, the, the final for the semester. And just think about it. The final is worth 50% of your grade, part of. So it's combined with what you got on the first quarter final. So if you if you do really well on this last one, it's going to improve your grade. However, uh, what did I tell you guys in regards to this final? That this one is not a multiple choice. This one, you got to know your work. So I'm going to give you the study guide ahead of time. So here's the code, five, uh, S5KQL. S five K Q L. So after you have uh, had fun with your family, got plenty of rest, you stayed up multiple nights without sleeping and binging on Netflix or whatever it is you do. Some of you on the uh, on TikTokers or beat boppers or whatever it is you do. Uh, make sure you get to the study guide whenever you have a chance. I'm not gonna be checking it when you come back. I'm just giving you in your hands the power to actually study ahead of time and be ready for the final. And right after this slide on the uh, on Nearpod, you should have that come up right away. So before any we go any further, uh, come up over here in the back. We actually printed a physical copy for you guys. So they're, they're, back, here. they're back here in the back. And my binder. 
Thank you. Thank you. All right, last night there was only one problem for home plate, three transformations. Go to Canvas, turn that in, please. We'll talk more about the uh, study guide in a little bit just so that we can uh, settle down as to what you see in front of you. So as you're turning in your, uh, your home plate, here goes the study guide. It should read 2024-2025 algebra 2 semester 1 final study guide. I'm sorry, semester 1 final study guide. And if you see, everything we've covered is in here where they're asking for domain and range of the function, uh, where we plot points, you graph a line, and then they ask us for interval notation over here for certain parts. Then they ask us to transform or to graph and then transform according to this. Same thing for this one. Then it says here, find the inverse of the function. Do you know how to do that? Of course, Mario gave us the inverse today, so there it is. And then you graph each one. Uh, absolute value, we covered that at the beginning of the school year with the Algebra 1 review. We're going to revisit that together. Solving three different ways, using square roots, factoring, and by graphing. And of course, we got our polynomials. Here's the, uh, uh, talking about perimeter. Here we have the uh, identities. You guys remember these? Yes? How about the binomial theorem? Yes, your favorite? Yeah? From there, we got factoring polynomials by grouping. Long division. Synthetic division, simplifying a rational expression, another one, adding rational expressions, dividing rational expressions, and solving rational equations. Have we been doing this on the warm-ups? Yes, Mr. Q. So those of us that have been practicing our warm-ups, guess what? You already pretty much finished the whole thing. All of this I've been giving you on the warm-ups and the home plates are just extra practice. So, what I'm saying is this. You have this in your hands and you have access to it electronically. With great, uh, how does this, how does that thing go? With great uh, freedom because it comes great responsibility or something like that. Well, there you go. You have the freedom to uh, do what you may with a study guide. Just don't sell it on eBay, okay? All right. So, other than that, go ahead and set that aside. That's for you to enjoy during your time off. Maybe gather your people when everybody's sitting down and they're like, guess what, guys, let me show you what we've learned. There you go. All right. So, with that said, put away your notebooks, please. We don't need those today. We're going to take a little break from our endeavors. Is that all right? But I do want us to uh, reflect on Thanksgiving. Here it goes. So here are the instructions of this slide. It reads, take time to reflect on this school year. Not the whole year, just the school year. Go month by month and write something that you are thankful for. So first, uh, before I send you the screen, think about August when we first started our school year where you were at, what one thing was something you're like, oh, oh yes, I'm grateful or thankful for this. If it's multiple things, that's fine. Go to September, same thing, what happens in September? What are you grateful for? October, November. So, let me send you the screen. Start typing, please. I'll give you some time to go. One more minute, one more minute. All right. 
So thank you. Send it in as soon as you can. So as we go on Thanksgiving break, pay attention to this part. Some of us tend to do the same thing that we always do. And I'm talking to you guys that go and hibernate wherever you are at. What does that mean, Mr. Q, that you all go and lock yourself in or go to a little corner and detach from everyone else? Okay. The other thing is that you're going to start probably getting together with people you haven't seen in a while, and maybe after a long time, there was a situation that happened that maybe you guys didn't leave in a good note. So there's going to be some friction there. I'm asking you guys to be the better person. And uh, number one, be quiet, step away, count to 23, and go to a safe, a safe spot. Why? I mean, why are you going to bring all that mess to what's going on at home? to what's going on at a gathering. Number two, look at this next slide, and it reads, in addition to being thankful, what action out of the ordinary will you commit to do during this time with family and friends? Now, notice the word or the words out of the ordinary. So think about it. With family first, what is one thing or a couple things that you can do that are totally out of your ordinary that would shock your family members? Then I'm not talking about something bad. I'm talking about something good. Be nice. Think about it. What are some things or one thing some of you are like, Mr. Q, if I was to say hi to them, they would be shocked. Well, whatever it may be, if I was to give them a hug, if I was to clean, how about them apples? How about waking up one day and then all of a sudden they hear outside somebody washing cars or cutting the grass? Or how about making some chilaquiles with uh, egg and potatoes and stuff? You know what I'm saying? Like something out of the ordinary that's going to stretch you in that end. Or how about just being nice? And I'm talking about including facial expressions, people. Some of you with your face say a million words. So because, like I said, this is going to be a time that's going to be a lot of stress in the sense that people running around, getting things ready, and, you know, very sensitive time. So make sure you are doing something out of the ordinary that's something good. All right? So, that's with family. Now, let's think with friends. What are some things out of the ordinary that you can do with friends around? Or maybe sending a message or maybe just reaching out. All right? I send you the screen. Type it in there, please. Once again, something for family, something for friends. So, I'll give you some time. So, All right, so as you're finishing up uh, the last portion of it, so when we come back, I'm not going to be checking and asking to see if you actually did whatever you wrote down, but I want this to be like a mental note in your noodle as you are with family and friends over the break, and hopefully you remember, oh, I remember Mr. Q made me write this down. Well, how about you actually do what you wrote down? In another class they were writing, I would leave my cell phone for one day. I was like, what? I was like, okay, that's, that's, that's good. Somebody wrote, I would make breakfast for a change. And I'm like, wow, that's good. Somebody wrote, I would start cleaning my room. <laughs> oh, my goodness, I wonder how it is. So, yeah, those are the things that you need to think about during this time. Guys, because think about it. We, we're so so blessed with everything that we have, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's time like these that you need to just reflect on and just be appreciative of uh, everything
everything we have and uh, and how we can see other people that they don't have some of the things that we have. You know what I'm saying? So during this time, like I said, spend it to uh, rest, you know, with family and friends. And once again, when it gets to those times where it's uh, a little bit hectic and friction, walk away. Especially some of you that are really like, you know, you ignite right away. My goodness. Please, pretty please. So with that said, uh, those of you following on YouTube, that's all I have for you guys. But you have access to the uh, study guide there with the code. And I'm going to stop the video right now. See you guys when we come back. December. Bye. Peace.